Welcome back to the garage, you guys. We're doing a video today on R Comp tires and a special little ingredient that we can do to make these things last longer. What is that, ladies and gentlemen? It is heat cycling. Now, heat cycling, for those who don't know, is the uh, process, and not many, many companies do this, but I did want to mention that you mentioned to you guys that Tire Rack does do heat cycling. Discount Tire does not. So what is heat cycling, ladies and gentlemen? Heat cycling is the process of taking these wheels and tires, and this is how the uh, this is how tire rack does it. So I'm not going to get into how they do it on the track. Basically, that's a much more complicated uh, situation. But what tire rack will do for fifteen dollars per wheel, sixty dollars a set, is they'll mount the wheel, uh, excuse me, mount the tires on the appropriate size wheel, and then they will put the load on the tire. All right and heat the surface of the tire up to 170, 180 degrees. And they'll measure that with a pyrometer to make sure they get a nice even uh, measurement across the whole surface. Now the reason that is, you guys, is, is in these rubber compounds when they produce these tires, these tires have weaker uh, links, let's say in the rubber uh, molecules, and also stronger links. So what heating up the tire does to that temperature um, and actually allowing it to cool down again is to basically uh, break the weaker links and allow them to cool down and forming stronger links. Once they do that, um, let me see here, Tire Rack will, let me show you this here you guys, will stamp it saying it's tire, a tire rack stamp and it's a heat cycle. You'll see that usually on the inside, the carcass of the uh, tire. It's also on the tire walls. Um, so if you're on grid and you notice that, you're like, well, what is that? That's, that's what that is. Now when you order them heat cycled, they come with a date. Now the reason that date is on there, you guys, is that date needs to be on there because you want a minimum of 24 hours for them to cool down. Now since they're all gonna be shipped out, um, and in my case, because I live in Arizona, they're all shipped out of Nevada, they have a minimum of 24 hours in shipping, basically, maybe even 48 hours, so they have enough time to cool down. Uh, minimum, you wanna give them 24 hours, but ideally, if you can give them up to a week for them to cool down and let all those molecules come, uh, come together again and reform their links, you have a much, much, better tire in terms of how even everything wears and how, how, how much better it actually helped distribute the weight, um, excuse me, weight and heat as the heat gets, uh, gets put into the tire um, lap after lap after lap basically. So what you end up producing is basically a tire with stronger linkages, so it's gonna wear a little bit better, it's gonna wear more evenly, and you might get a more, I don't know, you might get a few more heat cycles out of the tire. So in the end, for that, we'll call it a $60 investment, you're gonna get a better performance tire. Now, as we know, these things already don't last very long. These tires, if you're lucky, will last three to 4,000 miles. Um, man, that's if you're lucky, okay? So the $60 investment, uh, if you're already spending $1,880 on a set, it's, it's a no-brainer. Do it. We're not shaving the tires, so they're not, they're not reducing any of the, the, the tread depth, and these, the tread depth on this is already insanely shallow. Look at this, you guys. That's a brand new tire. There's not much depth on that at all, all right? So in the end, you wanna do anything you can to make them last longer, and obviously you want them to stick. So heat cycling, explained, hopefully that hopefully clears things up for you guys. Uh, if you're also too ever wonder what these yellow stamps are when you're on grid, um, I don't know, you, you'll know what that means. Basically, it just means the person spent the extra money to get them heat cycled. Um, anyways, I hope this, cleared up heat cycling for you guys. It's uh, it's a comic, it's not really a common topic. It's a it's a topic that maybe some people may have heard the term, don't really know exactly what it is. And it's only gonna be for hard comp tires generally. Um, so yeah, I mean, most people are not using them on the daily, so it's, it's not something that maybe mo too many people know about. Heat cycling, it's worth the 60 bucks. Uh, discount tire does not do it. Tire rack for the win, 60 bucks, and they're shipped with the, uh, the date uh, that the, uh, the tires had their heat cycling on so you know exactly what you're dealing with and when to get them back on, on the tires, or excuse me, on the wheels for the track days. Now with me, I'm gonna give them at least a week. In fact, they're probably gonna sit here for two weeks before I take it into the, to the shop and get the, get the mounted up on the, uh, on the wheels and get these horrible, horrible, massive mistake, Michelin PS4S garbage off of my car. I cannot stand these chunky, meaty, look at these horribly tiny little, uh, shoulder blocks. This is a summer tire for a luxury car, okay? This is not a track tire. Look at the, <laughs> notice this now, you guys? There are no shoulder blocks. It's continuous, and that's to take all the massive weight of this two-ton sports car, man. This is a very, very heavy car. It needs the right equipment. Um, like, like I said in a previous video, engineering for the win, 
let engineers engineer, okay? They know what the hell they're designing and what they're doing. They're designing a two-ton track car. If you look at it, you guys, just look at it relative to the size of the car. How much tire is there? It's about as, it's, it's higher than the height of the car. Oh, it's pretty insane. Um, anyways, hope this clears things up, you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Heat cycling for the win. Take care.